Hey guys, you might have come across the big LED display at the Times Square in New York or maybe at a music concert or in a TV show. If you are wondering how they set up such big display boards or the video wall, then today's video is going to be interesting and can help you make an LED message board to display text, photos or videos. This panel can also be used for hobby projects and can be controlled using a Raspberry Pi, ESP32 or with any other controller. So now let's take a closer look at this setup. It has two parts, the RGB LED matrix panel and the display controller board. So now let's talk about the panel. This matrix panel has 2048 RGB LEDs that are arranged in 64 by 32 grid and the LED type is SMD 2121. The pixel pitch or the distance between the center of two adjacent pixels is 4 millimeters and hence this board is called P4. The board has a dimension of uh, 256 uh, millimeters in length and uh, 128 millimeters in width. This panel works on 5 volts uh, DC and the power consumption is about 20 to 30 watts when all the LEDs turn on. It has a scan rate of uh, 1 by 16 and has a viewing angle of 160 degrees. Let's now take a look at the back side of this panel. So here we see all the circuits and we also see two IDC connectors. This is the communication port and it's called the hub 75. This is the input port and the other one is the output port. IDC ribbon cables are also provided along with this uh, panel and uh, when using more than one panel the output of the first one goes to the input of the other panel. So in a way we can join or daisy chain multiple panels together to make a bigger display. So I have another panel which is uh, similar to this and uh, we can join um, these two panels together by connecting another ribbon cable from the output port here to the input port which is present here. This port is for power and a power cable has also been provided with this panel. I have connected the panel to the same power source uh, that is connected to the controller which is here. But you might want to connect uh, this separately uh, to a different power source with much higher amps in case if you are planning to add more than one panel. There are different types of panels such as a P3, P5, P10 and these panels are much bigger in size and also the LEDs are spaced farther away from each other. So the viewing distance will be much higher for these panels. This panel is for indoor use and the LEDs are mounted on a hard sheet of uh, plastic. Uh, flexible panels and waterproof variants of this panel are also available. So now let's move to the second component and uh, this is the RGB display controller and the model is called Huidu HD D10. This is mainly used to drive the pixels on the display panel and uh, this specific controller can be used to display text, photos and videos. It comes with an inbuilt storage of uh, 4 GB and has Wi-Fi feature and a LAN port as well. We can design, edit and transfer text animations, photos and videos through an Android app. There is also a Windows based software that can be installed on the computer to design the content and transfer it to this uh, controller. I will be doing a separate video on this uh, controller so please stay tuned for that video. Coming back to the display panel, this is very bright and it easily captures the attention of people. This would be useful if you are running a business or you want to display useful information to your customers. For example, in a restaurant you can use this to display menu or you can use this to indicate if your shop is open or closed. It can also be used to advertise your products or display your shop name. The possibilities are many. Also the advantage over static display panels is that the content on this can be easily changed and updated whenever required using the display controller. We can also copy the content to the USB stick and plug it to this uh, USB port here and after a minute it should automatically play the contents straight from the USB stick. You can now see that it's currently displaying the contents from the USB stick. 
As I mentioned earlier, instead of using this specific controller, we can also drive this display using a Raspberry Pi, ESP32 or any other microcontroller to display calendar, reminders, YouTube subscriber count and many other things. So guys, I hope this video was interesting and useful to you. If so, please do share and like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.